Hey guys, what's going on? It's Torment here. So I'm back with episode 7 of Chasing Rank 1 in Solo Standard. So in the previous episode, we got 2 wins and we got the Champion 2 Division 1, so that's actually really good. So I think after that, I'm within the top 500 players at least, maybe 400. But that's not what we want. Our goal is to reach Rank 1. That means we have to get Grand Champ and we have to go above and beyond that too. But yeah, we're just going to get right into the games. Alright, so starting off with Game 1, there's a couple players in here I recognize these Season 2 and 3 Grand Champions. I've seen them before in Rank. That's usually a good sign. Last series, uh, or last episode, we didn't really see anybody recognize at all, so I guess I'm getting up higher, so I'm getting them to see more players I usually see on my main account as well. So right there I see pops it up pretty wide, and that leaves guy was last back. So I just go and challenge him, just in case I can get a base, uh, a possible win, but since he blocks it good, it uh, doesn't result in anything, just a 50-50 this side. Right there, I kind of rushed it, hit it right to them. I get actually really lucky that that bounce goes up because the marshal is probably going to get that. I'm able to beat out the last defender too, so that was that was a little fortunate. I also didn't have a lot of boost, and I still don't have a lot of boost, but I see that I should challenge that because they're going to be, be pursuing the ball. I kind of want to get in the way. I saw my teammates were rotating back, so since they're coming in behind me, I kind of can be a little risky and go up for that ball. So right here, my teammate just rolls into the corner. I don't, really, I couldn't really read that guy's hit, so I just kind of chilled. I'm able to get it after he hits it to me though, but I hit it right to the other team. Probably should avoid doing that. I should have tried to hit it to a safer spot, but it was kind of tough when I was backwards like that. So free open clear there. Both of my teammates are up here and they actually both jump. One of them gets a 50-50 and one of them goes for like a pretty nutty touch to be fair. And he didn't really get anything on it, so I'm just chilling again. I don't want to go up when both my teammates are up because that's that just spells disaster. So I just waited, made sure there was somebody back for us. And yeah, continuing on, my teammate gets a pretty good pop out, but both the other team, or two players on the other team read it as well, and I don't really get anywhere with that either. Yeah, so right now, just nothing really happening, just like us blocking our, our each other's attempts. There have been some decent attempts, but nothing too crazy that would actually result in a goal. So yeah, I play that slow so I can get a follow up myself. It turns out that I don't even get the beat out, but he, uh, fortunate for us, he spikes it straight into the ceiling, so we're able to keep it up. Doesn't last for long though. Then I trust my teammate to get it across to my other teammate. Again, I'm just waiting back while both my teammates are up. They seem to be really aggressive players. So I haven't really played with the two on my team as much. So I didn't really know how, I don't really know how they played uh, going into this, but I just kinda find just sitting in the back for most of this. And there I just take a 50-50. I was kinda confused what my teammate was doing. I couldn't really read him. But I was able to just tell that he was going back after uh he kinda looked like he had no boost, basically. Here I take a dribble because I see the ball's open. Kind of rush it, don't really aim my flick. Just kind of flick it just to flick it and it just doesn't go in obviously. Pretty simple save. They just kind of put a long shot on our net just to try to get something going. And I'm able to get a 50-50 out as well. My teammate doesn't get the center pass. That could have been good if he did get it to my other teammate. But there, I pass it to my teammate. Actually a pretty good angle from him. But I'm not able to get the follow up unfortunately after he hits the post. That was a pretty good shot. He got it around two defenders as well, but it's just just not in. Not quite there. So yeah, I'm chilling back again. Both my teammates being aggressive. That seems to be the theme of this game. Both my teammates are pretty aggressive. And me just waiting in the back trying to hold down the defense. And there I just get the wall clear because I know someone on the other team is going to be trying to follow that up if I miss it. So That kind of messed up my hit when he was sitting there. I don't think he knew I was there though, so... And obviously we're not in comms, so we can't. I can't really say anything about that. Just him not knowing I'm there and trying to dribble it. Here I wait back just because I see my teammate kind of like going for the shadow slash actually trying to challenge. Not really sure which one he was deciding to do. That's why I put the slash. But I'm able to clear it to the side anyways. Oh, that was a little scary with the way my teammate bumped me there. I didn't know if he was going to bump me out and like they were going to get a goal from it. But he actually bumps me to a spot on the goal line where I'm able to... Get a hit out. So I guess it kind of works that the way he did that. I don't think he meant to do that, but I mean, it works. Doesn't always have to be the most intelligent move for it to work. So there, I beat out both defenders. I actually knew I wasn't online. I remember I knew I wasn't online for that. My teammate says no in quick chat, and for good reason. I should not have gone for that. I was pretty greedy. And my, my teammate would have had an open goal and probably would have scored. So selfish play by me. Shouldn't have done that. Again here, this wasn't more of a selfish play. But since I start air dribbling it straight, it looks like I was trying to just make a play. But in reality, I just messed up. And there, good pass from my teammate. He sees me there, but I had no boost at all. And I wasn't able to get high enough in time. 
and it just kids off the crossbar. Kind of unfortunate, but if I only had a little bit of boost and I was a little quicker, I think I could have got it. But so right here, no boost. I'm trying to like summon some Super Saiyan like powers there to clear that ball down with no boost, and I actually just miss it. So this is a little fishy the way my teammate cleared it across, and he then he misses the follow up. Good thing from my t uh, from corrupt to able to get that follow up. Good block from him and good awareness to see that. Here I, I kind of was off the ball, so I go for an air dribble t double touch. Didn't work out, and my teammate misses too, so I just pass back. And that one's going to die because my teammate didn't have boost to dribble it, and yeah, I was just in a barren wasteland pretty much. So yeah, in overtime, first zeros are overtime, I'm pretty sure this series. I'm not entirely sure about that, but oh, teammate puts a shot off the kickoff right up the post. It was close, but we weren't able to get it, unfortunately. Here I rotate back because I see my team has a way better angle than me. He actually gets a good double touch too that I'm able to follow up because of that. And yeah. Okay, so mental loss. Rest in peace, 2017, 2017. You will be you will be missed, but he just straight on gold it off my off my clear. So with that, we win the game and I get a division up, I'm pretty sure. So we take those. An own goal for a division up. I mean, it was a really intense game until that happened, but whatever. Anyways, that game, my teammates are really aggressive. I wasn't really able to move up that much. As you can see, my one shot, I think it wasn't that goal I got, but my one shot, my teammates only had two. It was actually a really low scoring game in general, but I didn't really have free reign to move up as much, but we ended up getting the job done anyways, so it ended up working out. We didn't really get any threats on us, and yeah, that's it. We got the, we got the first W of this, of this episode, so... Champion 2 Division 2 now. That's probably a lot higher on the leaderboards than I was before, too. Alright, here we go into game number 2. I do recognize one player Redemption Hound, and there's also a Season 3 Grand Champion, so... Shouldn't be a bad lobby. We'll see how it goes. See, my teammate gets the hit out. I'm just waiting back to see what happens. Triple 50-50. Really awkward aerial for me, and I just kind of tap it in. Kind of just wasted some boost. Bought some time though for my team to get back, I guess. So not the not the worst play, but obviously I wasn't really looking for a goal there. Or I wasn't really expecting a goal there the way I shot it. Again, there, I didn't know if my teammate behind me was gonna rotate back, rotate in or not, so I just waited to see if he was. I didn't want to double commit there. And redemption, I don't really know what happened here. I think my teammate was just played it from a weird angle and got beat. One teammate challenged on the wall, which okay, he was actually not on the wall. He was pretty low. My other teammate was from like the side boost and he just got completely beat out and uh, he just gets a solo goal on us. So I don't know, not much I could do there. I just, the only thing I could have done is made sure I was back more, but I was the front in the rotation. So there I kind of jump, but I realized I shouldn't because I'm going to get beat if he does hit it. And yeah, I'm able to just play it around one and get the clear out because he was challenging for a dunk. And that's not really good. He gets a pretty dangerous ball off our backboard. Luckily, a save. Or not, a miss off the crossbar, and then another miss, and I'm able to clear it out, so. Fortunate for us. Both my teammates did get beat out, though. It could have been pretty bad, but I was luckily able to get back in time. Here I see he's probably going to dribble. Actually, I noticed he goes for a lower shot, so I'm just able to clear it out easy. So I fake one, and I think I was trying to cut it middle there. Either get it around the defender or hit it to my teammate. But I missed the second touch, and that's kind of just what happened. He was easily able to get a dunk. The way he, what he expected actually happened, so. Good good lead from my teammate to give me that ball. And I just pop it over one, but since I popped it over one, the other one was waiting back. That was good from them. It was kind of like a bait, a bait for a flick, and then the other one just gets an easy ball. That's pretty s smart play in twos and threes when you have, like, big boys on the other team. Which, I, I think I after that, I adapted and stopped dribbling because I noticed it probably wasn't going to work. Especially since I'm not the greatest dribbler in the world. It's definitely not my strong suit. Then I'm going grinding on the post real quick and then missing the ball. But luckily there's nobody there. So I have like a ton of time and I'm actually able to get a decent pass to my teammate anyways. That's just some, that was just some quality mechanics there to, you know, rotate into net. Really, really pristine. Yeah, now I just move up after my teammate hits a boomer. But they have pretty much control of that ball completely. I want to try to beat this def uh, this aggressor. I do. I'm, I am able to beat him, and I'm able to get a challenge on the uh, the other one as well. So, but it kind of just goes up to the middle, and the other team gets the ball anyways. That seems to be happening a lot. We're giving away possession a lot. We're not really controlling. We're just kind of like giving it to them and then trying to dunk them, which never really works out well. 
trying to get some follows up here follow-ups here there i sort of get a follow-up actually the way that worked missing a 50 50 or losing a 50 50 and then being upfield could have worked for a redirect but since i was in a weird spot my teammate just kind of shot it didn't really work we finally have control and i'm able to beat out a defender one guy la uh last back and he messes up his touch and just kind of hits it towards his own goal softly and there you go i'm just able to follow it up and just squeeze that angle in just a solo goal not, not much else about it and a mistake from the other team I, d I think I could have beat him there. I just didn't get a solid hit. It could have been better if I did beat him, though. Pa my teammate accidentally passes out middle, but he's able to actually recover off the wall, so that was really good. And he was able to get that hit out or get that 50-50 and win it. There, good pass for my teammate. I go for, like, a shot to, like, just keep it on the same path and just speed it up a ton. Almost works. I think I missed anyways, but I had decent speed. There. Like, good pass back from my teammate, but I chip it up so high that I'm just easily red. So I just go for a 50. That goes extremely even. Right now, a lot of 50-50s in this game. It's been based off challenges and hitting the ball to the other team a lot. So we're looking to try to maybe beat the other team out and get, like, a simple, like, center pass or something that could work out. There, I know some guy's challenging under me, so I hit it over him. Actually sets up my team teammate pretty well. I think if he didn't get an accidental double touch there, I could have definitely gotten a follow-up, but... What can you really do? Two misses, one from each team. I'm pretty sure they expected the other one to hit it. That happens pretty often, more often than you'd think. Just two people like expecting the other to hit it and trying to block. There I rotate back because I have no boost. And I know my teammate behind me probably has some and is eager to go in. And my other teammate was all the way up, so. There, that was definitely not what my intended purpose was. I th It looked like I was going for a shot that I just air rolled too far back. It ended up being a relatively there for a pass but not really that pinch out middle wasn't the best thing for me but good read for my teammates to be there to block that good from him so yeah we've just been pretty back and forth no no really chances besides the two that happened and off of defensive mistakes so i did not know that guy was going to miss that or else i maybe could have taken my time more and put that shot on net but i was mostly playing it off of a challenge which is the safer way because you'd expect the guy to hit it but so here they both go up for it and pinch it out middle and in a wide open net because I'm pretty sure there was a demo there. And yeah, that was just get a wide open net. Good pinch from my... Yeah, there was a demo on the on the left side. And good pinch out from my teammate. And it's just wide open. I sh do shoot it at the defender coming in, but he has like almost no chance as long as I shoot it at a decent speed. And yeah, there you go. Took the lead with like seven seconds left, so... All I have to do right here is spike it down, make sure it doesn't hit redemption and it doesn't stay up off the wall. And yeah, we get the win there. So that was, that was really good. That was just barely took the lead at the end just barely squeaked it out pretty good we had more shots than the other team this game it was eight shots to three but it didn't really feel like it. it didn't feel like we had that much possession most of our shots were pretty pretty poor to be honest they were just hitting it to the other team not really taking our time and but we're still able to win because that's how solo standard kind of works sometimes so yeah anyways that's it for this episode we got champion two division three that's actually great because that actually puts me around 132 or somewhere between 130 and 140 on the leaderboards. I checked the rocketleaguestats.com and that's where I found that out. You obviously can't see on the leaderboards, but we're almost in top 100. That's actually really close. Like next episode, if I win two games, I will be in the top 100 almost certainly as long as the leaderboard doesn't shift too much between then. So that's actually really good. That's really cool. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next episode. I hope we get top 100 and I'll see you later.